Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Rahul. Today we are tackling an exciting problem from lead code that is design a number container system. Actually, this is a great problem to test your understanding of hash maps and priority queues. So if you are preparing for man level interviews or any product based companies, DSA is must right. So this one is mostly as in interviews, which is a good one. So let's dive right in. Here is our problem. Just imagine we have a system where we can store numbers at different indices that update them and quickly find the smallest index where a particular number exists. Here we are going to design a class. We already have number containers with two main functions. First one change which inserts or replaces a number at a given index second one find that returns the smallest index that contains the given number it sounds simple so let's break down how we can implement this efficiently a naive approach would be store everything in a list or array and search through it every time but that would be inefficient because of complexity Instead, we will use hash map. First one, you know, first hash map, you know, to map each index to its corresponding number. Another one that maps each number of number to a priority queue of indices. So you may think like, why this one is better compared to another approach like tree set. So here, using a priority queue ensures that retrieving the smallest index for any number is big of 1 and updates are logarithmic means big of log n due to heap operations now let's start with our coding part so here is our main one number containers so first of all we have to start with our hash map hash map integer priority q integer another one so this one is to map each number to a min heap of indices Another one integer integer index where so this one in order to keep track of which number is stored at each index. Now we can get into our number containers method. So result equal to new hash map next index where new hash map okay Now we have to go for the next method change. So here it's nothing we have two inputs index and the number. So first of all we have to check whether if the index is already contains a number. If index well dot contains key index then nothing we have to get the index um, means we have to remove the index from its previous numbers heap 
so we will assign one variable previous num index where dot get index if previous number is same as number then nothing we have to return else we have to remove the index from its previous numbers heap dot get previous num dot remove index okay once this done we have to insert the new index into the priority queue of the new number so dot compute if absent number k2 sorry new priority queue dot offer index once this is done we have to update the index val in order to store the new number at the index so index val put index number okay so we are done with our change method now at last we have the find method where we have to return the minimum so here we have the input number so we have to check if the number exists then we have to return the smallest index otherwise we have to return minus one if no indices to this number so priority q indicer i will name it as pq get our default number new priority queue now we have to return uh, the smallest index if nothing there we have to return minus one if no indices to this number pq dot is empty minus one or pq dot peak that's it let's run it's working it's almost 98 percent 
so for this the time complexity comes like this method in change method here while we in the insertion he makes it big of log n and removing from heap makes it big of n because we are using that uh, priority queue dot remove is not big of log n but in practical cases it's fast uh, for this method find it is big of one since peaking at a min heap is constant time so this approach is efficient because it avoids unnecessary linear scans and it maintains order dynamically using a priority queue likewise it efficiently handles updates with a hash math i at the beginning only i mentioned there is another alternative approaches there like we could use a tree map or for find but it would increase complexity unnecessarily what we are looking is we have to make it less complex and everything so if you found found this helpful smash that like button subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comments see you in next video till that happy coding